I almost feel ashamed to send my condolences to the families who have lost young ones who are younger than me. Young women, young girls who wanted an education that I have. I feel ashamed to send my sympathies because for far too long the world has sent just that. They've sent sy sympathies, condolences, but nothing more. So to the families of the 57 or more young people who have lost their lives, I am sorry. As an Australian, as a Hazara, and as a citizen of the world, I am sorry that the world has forsaken the Hazara pain. Hazaras have been the target for more than 100 years, but more recently under the Taliban regime. The impact of these attacks are not just immediate. It is not just a loss of life, it is the loss of dreams, of hopes and of progress in Afghanistan for years to come. And the consequence of the silence that the world gives us in return is dire. The world stayed silent when they killed us in masses in 1990s. The world stayed silent when they killed our youth time and time again. But we say no more. We don't want to gather again like this demanding that a genocide be stopped. It is shameful that we have to beg for our humanity, that we have to beg for our existence. Because Hazara genocide just doesn't just happen in Afghanistan. The continual impacts of genocide happen in Australia. When we have TPVs, when we have Chev visas continuing to impact Hazara lives here. You want to help Hazaras? Give them permanent residency. You want to help Hazaras? Give them a path to become Australian citizens. Seeking justice is our fight.